are going to develop a program that demonstrates Moore's law, which is that the number of transistors doubles for a given area every one and a half years. We have a basic program that we will compile and run. Here, the program pauses and waits for a user to enter a key. We're going to add the variable, which is the number of transistors. Now, let's say we have 17,000 transistors. We're using the data type name short to hold that value. Now, let's just output that variable, num transistors. We compile. No errors. We output and 17,000 is seen. It's going to add some text to make this more human readable. So now the number of transistors on a chip today is going to be 17,000. Compile, no errors, run the program, number of chips, yes, looks good. Now we're going to add how many transistors on the chip would be in 1.5 years. So what we need to do is double the number of transistors by multiplying number of transistors by 2, storing that in number of transistors. So when we output, we expect to have double 17,000, but we do not. In fact, we have a negative number. Okay, something has gone wrong. And what has gone wrong is that we had an overflow of bits. A short cannot handle 34,000. It's out of range. So if we make an unsigned short, we're fine now because we do not have an overflow. We'll modify the program once again, double the number of transistors, and make this for three years. Compile and run. We did not double this time. Uh, so again, we had overflow. So instead of using an unsigned short, we're going to use an unsigned long. Compile, test. There we have the expected output.